Hello guys, it is King of Marvel Fan, back with another video, and if you saw yesterday's video, then you know that I got the Marvel Legends Captain Marvel movie Yon Rog figure for my birthday. So now I'm doing a review on that. So let's just get right into the review, starting off with the packaging. You of course get the Cree Sentry build a figure thing up there, on um, the age warning, and the Captain Marvel logo looking pretty nice. The Legends series logo. The figure clearly displayed in the window boxing. The Captain Marvel logo. The name of the figure. The name of the company. On the side you have some art of the character. Same on the other side. Except looking in the other direction. So that's getting real fancy. Um, but then you get the same picture of the character. So that's nice. And then you have... Some read-ups on the character, and if you want to read it, then pause now. Uh, so yeah, got all them different languages there. Uh, then here's a look at all the figures you need to build the Kree Sentry. As I said in my Captain Marvel and Talos review, I am not building the Kree Sentry, but in this video I will show you... Um, <laughs> me putting adding the leg that I got from Talos to this torso so now let's get it out of the packaging and get a closer look at the figure all right so now I have it out of the packaging and before I take a look at Yon Rog and his accessory I'm going to take a look at the build a figure piece so here's the torso of the Kree sentry um, you know looks pretty good got some nice details on it but then here I have the leg that came with Talos, and now I'm just going to snap that into place, maybe. There. So now, that is what the Kree Sentry would look like if I, well, like it's kind of what it would look like. But I'm not going to finish building it. I might pick up the other Captain Marvel that comes with Goose, and the main reason I would want that is just to have Goose. I don't think I'll want to get Ta um, Nick Fury... Or Genesvel. I might get Grey Gargoyle just because he's a pretty cool character. Now I'm going to put that off to the side. And now we are going to take a look at Yon Rog. But starting with his accessory though. So we have um, just a little a alien, like high tech pistol, almost like. That's kind of like what it is. And then you'll notice that. We can take it and just place it in his his left hand. Yeah, maybe if I can get it in there. Okay, so as you can see, I, I kind of got it in there. It's not in there too well. Uh, I could always heat it up with a hair dryer if I wanted to and really get it in there. But it's good for now. But let's take a look at the figure. So, you know, this is a pretty good figure. I really like the metallic green that they went with the, for the paint on this. And the helmet is looking pretty good with the mohawk part. And then you got his white eyes there. Um, I think the it, this is supposed to be uh, Jude Law's character. Obviously, you would know the answer to that if you've seen Captain Marvel, but I have not. So, I just assume that it is. So, yeah, I, I don't, I can't really tell if this looks like Jude Law. It kind of does. Um, but then taking a look at the back, you know, got some more good details in there. I like the piping detail they used there. Then you have the belt, which is a separate piece. And it can move around. Um, let's see. I do think the proportions are off a little bit on this figure. Like the uh, thighs look a little chunky. And then this part on his wrist. It looks weird. But I understand it because I think they're supposed to be guns. It's probably explained in the movie. Um, but as I've mentioned before, I haven't seen that. But now, uh, there's not really too much else going on with this figure. So now I'm just going to move on to articulation. 
starting with the head it's on a ball joint so you can go around you can go that much up that much down you can go that much side to side then moving on to the arms you can go like that uh, sorry I don't know like the technical names for these uh, and you have the bicep swivel or whatever you also have the elbow joint there which only goes up and down I think then you also have the wrist swivel and they hinge in and out that was probably a weird way to show it because that is not how a human would do it like I said the belt is a separate piece so it does move uh, then moving on to the legs uh, Yon Rog can do the splits about that much uh, doesn't really look like that much, but it would probably be p painful. Um, so then the legs you can go that far forward, kind of that far back. It's more out to the side. Um, but then you can bend at the knee. You have a double jointed knee there. And then the you have a boot cut, boot swivel, or whatever it's called. The an ankle goes up and down and then you also have ankle pivot which I always find to be weird people complain when figures don't have ankle pivot but I, I don't understand it like it's not like we can do it well we can but we can't make our ankle go like this so I don't understand why our figures have to do that unless they're like some weird alien and as far as I know yon Rog is not a weird alien well, like, he's a creep, but I don't know. So anyway, that is my review on the Marvel Legends Captain Marvel movie, Yon Rog figure. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this figure. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next video so I can bestow all my Marvel knowledge upon you.